See, the Holy Spirit as the dispenser of divine grace. As the covenant in which God made provision for the salvation of sinners is called the covenant of grace, and as the mediator of the covenant is said to have appeared, full of grace, so that we can receive out of his fullness, grace for grace, John 1 verses 16 and 17, so the Holy Spirit is called, the Spirit of grace, since he takes the, grace of Christ, and confers it on us. 1. The Biblical Use of the Term, Grace The word, grace, is not always used in the same sense in Scripture, but has a variety of meanings. In the Old Testament we have the word chen, adjective chanun, from the root shanan. The noun may denote gracefulness or beauty, Proverbs 22 verse 11, 31 colon 30, but most generally means favor or goodwill. The Old Testament repeatedly speaks of finding favor in the eyes of God or of man. The favor so found carries with it the bestowal of favors or blessings. This means that grace is not an abstract quality, but is an active, working principle, manifesting itself in beneficent acts, Genesis 6 verse 8, 19 verse 19, 33 verse 15, Exodus 33 verse 12, 34 verse 9, 1 Samuel 1 verse 18, 27 verse 5, S2 colon 7. The fundamental idea is, that the blessings graciously bestowed are freely given, and not in consideration of any claim or merit. The New Testament word charis, from cherain, to rejoice, denotes first of all a pleasant external appearance, loveliness, agreeableness, acceptableness, and has some such meaning in Luke. For 22, Colossians 4 verse 6. A more prominent meaning of the word, however, is favor or goodwill, Luke 1 verse 30, 2 verses 40 and 52, Acts 2 verse 47, 7 verse 46, 24 verse 27, 25 colon 9. It may denote the kindness or beneficence of our Lord, 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9, or the favor manifested or bestowed by God, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, referring to material blessings, 1 Peter 5 verse 10. Furthermore, the word is expressive of the emotion awakened in the heart of the recipient of such favor, and thus acquires the meaning, gratitude, or, thankfulness, Luke 4 verse 22, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 30, 15 verse 57, 2 Cor 2 14, 8 16, 1 Timothy 1 verse 12. In most of the passages, however, in which the word charis is used in the New Testament, it signifies the unmerited operation of God in the heart of man, effected through the agency of the Holy Spirit. While we sometimes speak of grace as an inherent quality, it is in reality the active communication of divine blessings by the inworking of the Holy Spirit, out of the fullness of Him who is, full of grace and truth. Romans 3 verse 24, 5 colon 2, 15, 17, 20, 6 colon 1, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 4, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 1, 8 verse 9, Ephesians 1 verse 7, 2 verses 5 and 8, 3 verse 7. 1 Peter 3 verse 7, 5 12. 